Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and this is tutorial number 44 and in this tutorial I am going to start covering how to retrieve data from form elements, okay? So in this tutorial we are going to cover text fields, um, password fields and text areas, okay? Uh, and then in the next couple of tutorials we'll look at select lists and uh, radio buttons etc okay but for now um, I just want to explain to you guys that I do have this code from the previous tutorial uh, where I was showing you guys the difference between the get method and the post method okay and uh, as it turns out when I showed you guys the difference between get and post we actually already learned how to grab data from the text uh, field input, okay? So, uh, as you guys can remember from this, uh, this tutorial, from this program, I could type in my name, so let's go ahead and type in Quinton and type in what, and uh, we were able to display my name uh, back out to uh, myself in the browser, okay? So that's basically how to work with a text field is the code that we used in the previous tutorial. Uh, so I'm not going to go and change this too much, but let's, let's just use this name input again, uh, except we'll change it to username and I'll give the name of the input element uh, a name of username and then we'll leave the type as text. But for surname, let's go ahead and change this. So instead of saying surname, we'll change this to password. And we need to change the type to password. And we'll change the name to password. Okay. Now, the difference between a text type and a password type is now whenever we uh, run this in Firefox, so let's go back here and click refresh, if you ever type something in this password field, it gets rendered out uh, as bullet points instead of as normal characters like a text box does. Okay, and there was still one more thing I wanted to do, so let's go ahead and um, throw in a break tag just after our password here and we'll throw in a break tag after our username as well break and I'm going to place in a text area element and we'll just end that off text area and I'm going to give this a name of data I guess just something that the user can fill in and we should actually be good to go just like that. So let's maybe just throw in another break tag after this to make sure that this uh, button over here is displayed on a new line. Okay, so now when I go ahead and click refresh, I've got a username field, a password field, and a text area that I can type some data into. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and actually uh, program some code that will actually expect all of this data and then be able to display it back out to the user and I'm going to do that in my handler file because as you guys can see whenever we um, click submit on this form the data will all be sent through to handler.php okay so let's go ahead and maybe just delete all this code and delete this PHP tag here, or just the code in the PHP tag. Okay, and let's create some new variables. So I'm going to create a variable called username, and we'll set that equal to dollar underscore and what um, are we using here? We're actually using the get method. So let's change this to post because whenever you're working with sensitive data like a password, or if you're working with a lot of data which might be typed into a text area it's always best to use the post method okay so let's go back here and just change this to dollar underscore post and then we'll grab um, the username from 
our poster data then we'll go ahead and get our password so that was we'll name that password and we'll get that from dollar underscore post password okay and basically this will then grab the password from our um, poster data and if you guys aren't sure where I'm getting this these values from uh, whatever's typed in here okay uh, I'm grabbing that from the actual name of our input element so whatever you named your input element over here or your um, form field over here that is what the data is going to be sent through as um, in this array so this dollar underscore post is actually an array of all the data that was uh, filled in in this form and then we can go ahead and grab it by name so I've grabbed my username I grabbed my password now let's go ahead and get the text area so I'm gonna call this variable data and we'll set that to dollar underscore post um, data okay and that should get the uh, content that was included in our text area so now let's go ahead and actually write some code that will output all of this and um, we'll just say maybe echo uh, welcome and then we'll append on the variable username and uh, let's actually include a space in here and then we're going to have to append on a space over here and we'll say um, your your password is and then we'll just uh, display the password so password just if I can get that spelled correctly and then um, let's go ahead and actually include a break tag over here and then uh, append on some more data and the last thing I actually want to append on is your um, this data variable over here so let's just say your data is colon and we'll actually keep a break tag in here and then append on the variable data okay and that's actually just how easy it is to grab values from a text field or um, a text area or a password it's just as easy as just grabbing that from the actual array and then we can go ahead and echo them out just like this uh, once we've made our variables okay so now let's go over to Firefox and I'm going to click refresh over here and we'll fill in a name of Quinton we can just go uh, password is hello or something and this is my data I hope I have a lot okay and this is now going to be stored in our data variable so let's go ahead and click submit and uh, I'm just gonna ignore that okay so it says welcome Quinson your password is hello and your data is this is my data I hope I have a lot so whatever I typed in here we were able to display out over here so that's pretty cool and um, that's how to grab data from text areas password fields or uh, text fields and I hope this tutorial really came in handy for you guys and that's actually all I have for you guys in this video so as always don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share this video it's really gonna help my channel grow and I will see you guys in the next one